Drohnenflug über das Inferno. Verheerende Busch- und Waldbrände haben Teile von Hawaii in eine apokalyptische Szenerie verwandelt. Mindestens 36 Menschen kamen ums Leben, viele weitere erlitten Verbrennungen. Anwohner und Touristen wurden von den sich rasch ausbreitenden Flammen überrascht. Am schwersten betroffen ist der historische Küstenort Lainia auf der Insel Hawaii. If anybody is still here, the fire is on Front Street. It is time to go. I work on the Scotch Mist 2 sailing charter. Um, do two hour cruises out of the harbor, um, out of Lahaina Harbor, historic Lahaina Harbor. And uh, I, was on, I was the last one off the dock when the firestorm came through the banyan tree and took everything with it. And I just ran out to the beach and I ran south and I just helped everybody I could along the way. You gotta know when you can. Die Küstenwache rettete mehr als ein Dutzend Betroffene aus dem Wasser. Sie waren auf der Flucht vor den Flammen ins Meer gesprungen. Aus der Luft wird das ganze Ausmaß der Katastrophe sichtbar. Dichter Rauch hängt über dem Urlaubsparadies. Ein ganzer Küstenstreifen von Maui steht in Flammen. Teile der sonst üppig grünen Insel sind schwarz verkohlt. Die Feuer waren bereits am Dienstag ausgebrochen. Am Mittwoch wurden sie von starken Winden des vorbeiziehenden Hurricanes Dora weiter angefacht. Der Bezirk Maui rief am Mittwoch Reisende auf, die Insel so schnell wie möglich zu verlassen. Es gebe noch Flüge im Osten der Insel. Im Westen gäbe es weiterhin keinen Strom und auch keine Mobilfunk- oder Festnetzverbindungen. US-Präsident Joe Biden hat dem Bundesstaat Hawaii Hilfe zugesagt. Fish market. I'm so sorry, guys. We put in so much hard work into this place. I can't believe this. This is the worst nightmare ever. Jetzt liegt er in Trümmern. Die Bilder wirken wie aus einem Kriegsgebiet. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Auch diese Familie aus Kalifornien suchte im Pazifik Schutz vor den Flammen. Mutter, Vater und fünf Kinder retteten sich ins Meer und fanden dort ein treibendes Brett. Erst klammerten sie sich daran, dann an Felsen. What's going on in Maui? There is a lot to unpack, so try to keep up. Several wildfires have broken out on the island of Maui, creating mass devastation and destruction, most notably the town of Lahaina. This is not the people's fault, and our hearts go out to those affected. Why is Lahaina significant? It was once the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, prior to the forced U.S. annexation and the eventual move to Honolulu. Lahaina is filled with native property and business owners that have dug their heels in and have refused to sell their properties to conglomerates such as BlackRock, Vanguard, and Oprah. Unglobalized, prime oceanfront property still owned and managed by the natives. So what caused this destruction? Short answer, no one knows. All government agencies, local and federal, have vehemently stated that it is unknown. However, there are two competing theories online. One, environmental, the perfect combination of a major hurricane 200 miles off the southern shore of Maui, combined with northern pressure to create massive dryness and winds. Or two, diabolical, something the conspiracy theorists call a DEW, Direct Energy Weapon. What? I had the same response, so I started Googling. 
The first article that pops up when you Google Maui DEW is from Newsweek. It starts like this. The devastating wildfires in Hawaii have brought a new conspiracy theory from climate change deniers who suggest that the destruction was orchestrated by the federal government's direct energy weapons. Ugh. Anytime a propaganda media article starts with conspiracy theory by climate change deniers, it makes me want to believe it more. Next article, fact checked, false. Wait, what? I thought the facts were unknown. But how can we rule out trending theories as impossible already? Joe Biden just announced that the federal government will provide aid to those that lost their homes. That means homeowners who lost their houses and properties can now loan money from the federal government at a low interest rate. Your super valuable property that is skyrocketing in value, you can now get a new mortgage courtesy of Uncle Sam. There are also countless efforts by the people to send aid and support to devastated areas. This would be great, except local residents are now saying that they are having difficulty delivering such aid and only FEMA and Red Cross aid is being allowed in. Roadblocks everywhere. No one allowed in or out. Hmm. And Maui is an island surrounded by water next to one of the largest U.S. military bases. Local residents are saying that they received no advanced warning and that they only evacuated once they saw the thick black smoke at their doors. Why was the federal response so slow on this matter, waiting until the fire had overtaken this area prior to action? I don't know what's going on in Maui. Our hearts go out to all those affected and we pray for your safety. But what I do know is that there are more questions than answers. And any time that's the case, especially when global self-interest benefits and people suffer, well, you know, conspiracy theory. <laughs>